Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. I want to talk about a feature that I learned about in the FT65 yesterday. This is a really cool feature to use in the field from the face of the radio. What the programmer is going to help you do is see what you've done in the field. And if you want to do any touch-ups or changes, then it's easily done through the programmer. This feature has to do with the P buttons on the radio. That's the P1, 2, 3, and 4 on the FT65, and the P1 and P2 on the FT4V and the FT4X. They work the same way, there are just not as many of them on the smaller radios. Let me cover a basic first. On both of these radios, if you press the function key and those P buttons, on the 65, the P1 is the home channel, the P2 is transmit power set, the P3 is squelch type select, and the P4 is reverse. On the FT4X and 4V, the P1 with the function key is the home channel, and the function key plus the P2 is, is reverse. These are preset from the factory and cannot be changed. So quick recall keys, P1, 2, 3, 4. We can set it for a menu item. We can set it for a particular memory channel. Or we can set it for a VFO memory. To set it to a menu item, you might want to consider which one you're setting and experiment with it because some of them can't be changed when they're accessed through these P keys. Others can be. So it's a matter of experimenting with it and get one that works well for you. But this becomes a one button recall instead of having to call up the menu, turn knobs, find your selection, press other buttons, get into it and make changes. So it's a one button recall. VFO are these VFOs. Memory, and I pick a programmed memory channel. This is the best one button return for a memory channel that I have seen on any radio. Use it to your advantage. It's great. But let's go back and talk about VFO. Let's talk about using this in the field. So you go to the field and you're doing an emergency operation and you all of a sudden find out that they're on a frequency that you don't have programmed in memory. So you real quick dial to that frequency. You set the tone from the face of the radio. You set the offset from the face of the radio. And then you press and hold the P1, P2, P3, or P4 button until it beeps. And the beeps will vary from a high-pitched beep to a fairly low tone. They mean the same thing. And now you can recall that frequency with its settings at any time. So neat. Instant saving. And then you could use another button and move to a memory channel that they were using too, and then move back to that channel without having to program it all the way into regular memory. You can do that after you get home. Really cool feature. Experiment with it. Use these as additional channels. If you've used up all your memory channels, you got four more right here. As you see, everything's there. Receive, transmit, offset frequency, offset direction, operating mode, tone, 146.94. And it immediately knows it's a minus and should be FM. I guess the only thing it doesn't have is a name here to go with it because VFOs typically don't have names. You know what it is because it's going to be on the P1 key.
So lots of new things on this. Play with it. It's a handy feature to have in the field. So you have this temporary memory. If you need to move it to a regular memory spot when you get back, do a get data from the radio, copy it, go back to memories, and paste it in. Now you can give it a name because now it's a regular memory and you've captured that new frequency easily with button presses from the face of the radio. There are times you need those. Programmer and the radio working together to give you the most functionality from your radios. Hope this helps. And remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.